Do you often feel frustrated because of your expectations not being met by your partner? Do you often feel like life is unfair and that the entire universe is out to get you? Do you find yourself getting angry at that stranger in the metro who did not offer their seat to you? Well then, content of this video might interest you. As children, we're told we're the rock stars and princesses and superstars and that we deserve all the success and happiness that there is for the world to offer to us. Which seems like a good idea in childhood, but then life hits us. We realize that we won't get every job that we interview for, that everybody that we love won't really love us back. And that can be frustrating. We are faced with situations that make us question the belief that we're special or better than anyone else just by virtue of our existence. Those of us who can make peace with this fact actually end up accepting life and being happy. But many of us have a hard time doing this. We end up feeling that why are we not getting what we want even though we're so special and superior to everybody else? And that creates a situation of frustration. That makes us angry at the world. That even makes us go into depression in severe cases. But then what is the solution to this? Am I asking you to not feel good about yourself? No. I'm just saying that we can feel good about ourselves without having an inflated sense of ego or feeling that we're better than somebody. Because essentially, we are not. We're all on the same plane. We all have our strengths and weaknesses. And when you take the sum total of it all, you realize it essentially comes out to be equal for all of us. So then what's the point of feeling that you're better than anybody? or inferior for that matter. Hence, the idea that you're just as good as the next person will help keep you from an inflated sense of ego and will also rid you of that entitlement that you carry around with yourself. A few ways to do that could be to recognize the small acts of kindness that people do for you. Cultivate a sense of gratitude within yourself. Instead of feeling like everybody owes something good to you, Recognize when somebody does something nice for you and thank them for it. Thank your partner for taking up 10 minutes after a long day at work for just talking to you. Another thing that you can do is to shift your focus from an idea of competition to an idea of cooperation. If we're all the same, then what's the point of wanting to get ahead of somebody? We're essentially on the same plane and same level with each other. Finally, work on building self-compassion over self-esteem. Self-compassion is the idea of being kind towards yourself of appreciating your goodness, working on your weakness, and recognizing that you share humanness with everyone else on this planet. This small shift in perspective can help you to get rid of a lot of your frustrations. You will feel much more fulfilled in your relationships, much happier with all the success that you achieve in life, and realize that a lot of the anger that you were holding on to didn't even have to exist in the first place. These videos can help you to some degree but if your problems are really serious or painful, you should come for counseling. We now have a team of psychologists who can help you and your family live a much better life. Here are some feedbacks from our clients. If you wish to take counseling from us, go to our website page www.shridharlifeschool.com slash counsel. Click on this link and fill this application form. We will get back to you soon.